Hello everyone and welcome to episode 4 of the Merthyr Town series for Football Manager 2017 and in the first episode I mentioned about a very special um, third choice kit which I really love and guess what I got for you guys on my lap right now is the third choice kit of Merthyr. This is the actual kit. I don't know if you can see it properly if I can just try and get it into the camera but there. Just get my head over as I can see what I'm doing. So you can see it's got the Atlanta badge in the middle and then the Merthyr badge on the left hand side. Um, basically this is a special kit that they released it for this season, for the 2016-17 season. It's to celebrate 30 years, the 30th anniversary of Merthyr Town's win against Atlanta in the Cup Winners' Cup. Now the Cup Winners' Cup is a now defunct trophy, but it's one where um, any Cup winners from all different European countries would compete. Um, it's like it's essentially a third European trophy behind kind of the UEFA Cup and the Champions League, or, or as it was known back then, you know, the I think it was the Inter Cities UEFA Cup and uh, the European Cup. Um, it's now the Europa League, but you know it's all it's all changed. It's all changed, but um, they don't they no longer have this competition. But Merthyr used to qualify because they used to win the Welsh Cup, and um, Cardiff used to win the Welsh Cup. Swansea did, Newport did a couple of times, Wrexham did, and Merthyr won a few times as well. And in the uh, eighty seven season, they played Atlanta at home. And they actually beat them at home. They lost the away leg and went out to the competition. But for Merthyr, who were a non-league team, to beat Atlanta, which are back then they were one of the you know probably the top, one of the top six or seven teams in Italy back then. It was uh, it was an insane result. So I wanted to buy this kit because I I love it. I love the whole kind of blue and black stripes. I'm a big fan of the kind of Inter Milan kit. I really like the Inter Milan kit. So I wanted to buy this. So here we go, guys. Again, this is what it looks like. Really happy with it. And you'll probably see me wear this in probably future episodes guys okay but yeah let us uh, crack on with the episode then guys hello everyone my name is dragonheart the prince of wales and i hope you enjoyed the little introduction video there obviously i'm wearing the uh, merthyr town third strip today we in the video why not why not guys um so yeah we're going to continue with the series this is episode four and I can't remember what we did in the last episode, I'm being totally honest. I think I got a new, I think it was a physio or a fitness instructor, fitness instructor, what am I remember. Um, let me just check this, guys. Let me just check this. This is kind of uh, embarrassing right now. Let me just check medical staff. Physio, Adrienne Shepard, physio. That's what I got, I think. The last few results have been pretty good for the most part. We've actually won our FA Cup first round game against Stourbridge. That took us into the second round, or second qualifying round, which we won away to Leek 1-0, a goal from Kay and Rafael. So we're actually into the FA Cup third qualifying round against Frome, which was the minimum expectation to get to the third qualifying round of the FA Cup. We've done that absolutely awesome, so we've achieved our first goal of the uh, campaign there, guys. So that's absolutely great stuff. The league hasn't been too bad. We drew away 1-1 to uh, Kettering, a team which were up there, so that's a good result, really. St. Ives, we drew 0 with. A little bit disappointed with that one. We beat Kings Lynn 2 1. Ian Trailer and KN Rafael with the goals there for us. Uh, we played Frome. Um, we've already played Frome. We played them 4 1 in the league. We got them in the cap, but we played them 4 1. And we had goals from Curtis McDonald, Connor Roberts, Ian Trailer, and Jay Colbeck. But unfortunately, our last game, we did lose away 1 0 to Slough in the league, unfortunately. Quite a few yellow cards as well. And that basically leaves us, if I can get the league table up, in third place. So we do have a game in hand over Kettering, which are second. We're on 17 points, only three off top. But Slough, of course, jumped above us because of that win. And they occupy first place. So a little bit disappointed with that result. But they are a team that are up there. So not the end of the world. We are going to be playing the Kings Langley game today in the Southern Premier. You know, Kings Langley, a 10th and a mid-table team. So we'll see how we can get off now. Uh, in that game, if we just skip forward, James Bloom. Oh, Bashford offered a contract to James Bloom. We don't want that. Need to keep him. <laughs> Need to keep James Bloom because we haven't got any players at all. We are absolutely struggling at the moment um, for players. But anyway, guys, what we'll do, I'll skip ahead now to the tactic screen and I'll see you in a jiffy. Okay, guys, so we're here now at the match screen. So, match preview. Merth down at home to uh, Kings at Langley by here. Now, uh, we have Slough, who are actually playing Biggles Wade. So, I assume they're going to win that first against 21st. And just go through the fixtures again by here now. I think that's the main one. Uh, Leamington, a fourth, they're against Kings Ling, which is a tenth, which could be an interesting game as well. Kettering, a second, they're against Chesham, who are eighth. So just a few of the other games to keep an eye on, which we can do throughout the match, guys. Uh, so let's go to team selection. I'm going to go quick pick. And James Bloom comes in at left back. Scotia, Roberts, Weston. That's pretty much my strongest team at the moment. 
I'm going to be looking to get a better right back. I'm struggling, to be honest with you guys. I'm struggling at the moment. He's my only right back at the club. One and a half star, Adam Davis. That's just not good enough. He's going to get found out a lot. He is young. He's about 23, so he might get a little bit better. But he's not going to go much much past two stars, let's be honest. And I want to get someone who's at least three, really, uh, in this team. Also, Kane Rafael, he's one and a half star. He's okay. He scored a few goals for us this year, but not ideal. So I need to try and get a couple of players in there. So of left wing and right back. They're the kind of areas we're looking at. But anyway, guys, let's jump into the action. Jones to the ball forward. Colbeck picks it up. It's a good ball to Western. Great ball to trailer. Go on. Pull it back. Rafael. Oh, he saved it. Oh, he bloody saved it, didn't he? Jenner with a throw. Finds Ross. Ross to Carroll. Carroll with a shot. What a save by Matthews. Holy shit. The ginger ninja called into action again, guys. Pulls off a fantastic save here. That's Penadaran Park. And it's a corner now. What can they do? What can Kings Langley do? Ball comes in and Tancock can't clear it. Stop, uh, Scott Tancock there. And it leads to nothing. But maybe there's still a chance here. Hutton with lots of space on the left. But fortunately it's cleared now. Trailer, what can he do? Brings the ball forward. I got two yellow cards. I'm a bit disappointed. We've got two players on yellows. Um, and we're only half hour into the game. It's quite annoying. Currently fourth on the table as well. Currently occupy fourth place. Okay, corner to Merthyr. Weston. Near post. Ooh. Oh, foul. Belty. Lovely. Shit. Right, we got a chance off this, guys. Actually going to be... The captain, Gethin Jones, to take it. I don't know what I think of that. Why is Gethin Jones taking it? I don't care if he scores. Go on. Yes! Come on! 1-0. I'll send us up the table. Up to second. Lovely. I was slow doing. So let's skip the replay. I was slow doing. Let me have a look. Uh, they're drawing nil-nil. Okay, I'm happy if, they, if that stays the same. Because I want to try and get top spot, guys. I want to try and win this league. Little ball inside to Roberts. Come on, what can you do? Roberts to Rafael. Come on. This is good football. This is good football, Merthyr. Roberts. Weston. Weston with a chip across to Davis. <gasps> ball in, Rafael. Get in there. 2 0. Fourth goal of the season for Kay and Rafael. Right. Hold on to this now. We need this. Come on now. Concentrate, guys. Concentrate. This is important. This is really important. Oh, Rafael's in. Oh, and he can finish. 3-0. 3. 3, guys. Maybe I don't need a left winger after all. Rafael's doing quite well. Davis with the cross. Rafael on a hat-trick. And he's got it. And the crowd go absolutely mental. Kean Rafael gets his sixth goal of the season. And Merthyr's fourth and his third. Merthyr Town are leading here at Penadaran Park 4-0. I'm just going to look at this one again, guys. We deserve it. Davis with the ball in. Look at that cross. Deep cross to the far post. Rafael gets up and there's nobody in the stand at that, at that end behind the goals, unfortunately for him. But he celebrates like there's millions there. Absolutely insane. 4-0 up. Really pleased with this, guys. I've literally just sat back and watched this. I haven't had to do too much at all. A little bit of an encouragement here and there. Um, had to take off the, the uh, yellow carded players, obviously, that I had on there. Bit of a risk. Don't want to get suspensions, you see, guys. We haven't really got a big squad, so that is one of my concerns. There's no money, so I can't really buy anyone or bring anyone in. It's always nice that I can sort of, you know, um, take players off. Oh, and Danny Jello's fouled. He's actually on a yellow himself. And he's going to be sent off. The stake keeps getting better. Second yellow card. Very good YouTube channel, by the way. Second yellow card. And he's been set off. And, yeah. Job done. Manager of the year in the back. <laughs> I'm only joking. But, yeah. Happy with that. 4-0. Maybe it's going to be 5. Western. Maybe not. I need a good free kick taker. We've got nobody that's good on free kicks. Unfortunately. So, there we go. That was solid. I'm going to tell myself passionately. Tell them. I'm very pleased with that. And your performance. And you can do the individual ones. For me up to second and oh they drew nil nil both of them Kettering drew nil nil and Slough drew nil nil and as you can see on the table above my camera right here we are second because of that and we got a very good goal difference of plus 11 as well scored 19 no one scored more than us oh actually a few of them have scored 19 
Tinder Flood have scored 19 with the ghost ship defense. That's really good, guys. That's really, really good stuff. I'm really pleased with that. And I am going to be ending the episode here. But before we do, just want to let you guys know that if you've got any suggestions at all that you want to pass on to me in this series, let me know in the comment section below, guys. I'll take as much on board as I possibly can. If you want to see sort of, you know, longer episodes, maybe have two live comms. Um, if you want to have like a transfer window special, that sort of thing. Let me know in the comment section below and I'll try and work something out for you guys. Anyway, guys, I've been Dragonheart the Prince of Wales. Thank you for watching. Until next time, goodbye.